Hey guys. It is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. I think it's a Monday. Is it Tuesday, Monday? Yes, today is Monday. Today is, is Monday. It is Monday. Oh gosh. Got home last night from my family thing, stag do, whatever you want to call it. I, I basically went to go see family and ended up doing a bit of a mini pub crawl. And I just, I realised something horrible. Not that I hate the taste of, of French lager, because it's horrible anyway. No, 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 no. I hate, I I just, I, 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 I have to pass on the torch. I can't drink like I used to anymore. But really, really, really bad anti, uh, 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 acid. And so I ended up having to take some Gaviscon for it. I still got the fucking packet that the person gave me. Thank you, whoever it was. I don't remember. It, but thank you. And while I was out on the lash, don't buy model kits. <laughs> I uh, got back to my friend's place. My 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 my, my friend's place where I was staying and. I found a big bag, and in this bag was this. Yes, this is a 125th scale Emma Fury 1957. Uh, and that was a. Uh, no, 56. No. 57. 57. I got it at a place called Paper Chain. If you ever want to go, yeah, pause the video. If you ever want to go see him, and there you go, guys. Um, the kit, you know, right, yeah, it was a little bit more expensive than what I would pay um, online. But the point was, now I look back on it, think to myself, I'm glad I did buy it. Because one, I've wanted, I've wanted this kit for a while, for a really long time. But two, I'm supporting a local business. If I was to buy it online, the money's going to Jeff Bezos, or it's going to some conglomerate company from from eBay or wherever, you know. And I mean, yeah, I paid thirty quid for it, so uh, thirty quid, thirty quid. But you know what? I don't care because, like I said, I'm I'm supporting a local business. Huh? And like I said, yeah, I could have bought two of these kits for that price, online or whatever. But the point is, it doesn't matter, and it's still sealed. It's all there, um, and it is an American uh, a AMT import, so it's not one of those re-popped ones by uh, Airfix. This is actually the AMT, not the AMT Earl. This is just the straight AMT release. This isn't even a repop. Uh, is AMT Earl, when AMT and Earl merged, repopped everything in their collection. Or the, the classic series. This isn't even that. This is, an, a gen, this is a genuine, genuine pop pop. So I'm happy about that. So from a collector's standpoint, that's worth a few pop. But I don't care. Uh, I will be building it. Unfortunately, my 3D printer is currently down. No, not a, it, it's not a hardware issue on the printer. It's actually a hardware issue on... This, no, there's no FEP streak because uh, I was getting ready to print a very gorgeous Smog um, Lord of the Rings uh, render and two of the fucking bolts, this one and this one, have completely sheared. Completely sheared. I've tried everything from the rubber band trick to. Uh, uh, I've tried everything, WD-40, and let it pen, the only thing I can think of is the aluminum threads and both of them of gold, which does happen, and so I've got a Dremel cutting disc set on its way up, and I will cut a couple of slits into it and stab it with a proper screwdriver and try and wrench the fuckers out. Um, I'm trying not to damage the frame, because a new frame is going to set me back about 60 quid. They're not cheap, and I don't have 60 quid to my name right now. 
But like I said, these aren't cheap. And my birthday's coming up, so I figured, what the hey? So I've got that smogged print. Uh, I will, it, now, to be honest with you, now I'm, I'm kind of pseudo glad that my printer's somewhat down. I mean, I've got my six inch printer. It can just go, meh, blah, 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 blah. it can go burr all day. That's not a problem. So I might actually just throw the files over and see if they'll fit on the six inch and just at least get churning on it, if you know what I mean. But the point is, it gives me time to clean up the literal fucking pigsty that is my modeling desk. I have to clean it. It has been bugging the shit out of me. I have to get it cleaned. I have to. I just have to. Um, and it'll also give me time to work on getting the German infantry painted. Now, I want to do a batch painting on the German infantry and just focus on things like the lieutenants and the captains and spend a little bit more time. You know, the, the typical GW thing. And then focus on the tanks because everyone knows tanks and uh, are the big thing to focus on same as gun emplacements like aa guns um pack 40s things like that nature large machine guns even snipers you know the areas that are on the, the bigger bases of focus on but then once the germans are done and i'm sick and tired of painting grays and german green egg greens i will go back to finishing off death guard then i can focus back on my star wars off. Oh, so modeling wise I've got a set plan I'm gonna, I've got to knock out my German stuff oh and while I was out my watch strap broke some idiot grabbed me by my wrist and my defensive intake kicked in and I snapped my strap so and I have ordered a new strap but it won't be here till tomorrow fingers crossed be able to wear my watch back again like normal also got myself a little technical screwdriver kit right here so i'll be able to start working some more on project funds and stuff and i even managed to get a replacement screen for my old phone as you guys know i did upgrade from this to a downgrade in my honest opinion to this you know, um, this is my current phone. So this one is great for using it as a PlayStation emulator and stuff like that. The processor on it is just top notch, top notch. Um, but this is okay. Love you too. And so what I'm planning on doing is um, I'm planning on, as like I said, this one doesn't have wire, wireless charging and it's only 4G. This one has wireless charging and it is 5G. I know I can get a wireless charge module for this. And so that's what I'm planning on doing. Once I'm done, the phone is paid off. Camera on is a bit shit. Don't care. Hello? That's <laughs> weird. This is this is still hooked up to my old old email.
Sorry. <laughs> some fucking people put some balls on them. Yeah, you phone number. The message. Go to all these. Or go. That's on. Anyway, so when had fun, saw my brother. He's doing good. Um, he's got. Uh, they took out seven or eight big chunks. Out of his uh, kidneys, liver, bowels, bladder, and yeah, he lower gut was just. So they took it out. They took a lot of him, a lot of it out of him to help prolong his. Uh, his um, they're testing it now to see because um, one of his tests came back before the surgery came back, and it was like, hang about something's not right here. You know, and um, they did the surgery anyway, and so they want to double check those tests. And um, because my brother was told that he was at stage four by not one but two doctors, so you know, he got a second opinion, and the second opinion doctor said, Yes, you are at stage four, uh, end stage. And apparently, um, well, I'll, I mean, my brother will know more, which means I will then know more later on. So I can't really promise anything, so I'm not promising anything. But uh, it looks like he might be uh, a little bit further back than he thought. So he might be at stage two or stage three, which means it is worth fighting. Um, and so, yeah, um, I'm excited for my brother. I really am. It's put a lot. It has taken so much stress off of me that I'm actually able to sleep. And I mean properly sleep. Uh, I may not talk about my younger brother or my siblings or my family that much during these coffee times. But um, that's mostly because I, 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 I respect their privacy. Um, and you should always respect a person's privacy. Uh, ask, ask them first, you know, get, get, get the okay, get their, get their permission. Yeah, always, always, always get a person's permission before you uh, talk about some of their private life and things like that. That's what I do anyway. It's called, it's called respect. I wish the newspapers did that, but they don't. My hair is a mess. Oh. And so, yeah, and then I spent the rest of the night, uh, last night when I got home, unpacking. And then I did a Windows update, and it damn near filled up all but four gigs of my hard drive space on my m.3 which is what my os is on and i was like went through changed a few options and it took 12 hours 12 hours to fix the issue that that um <laughs> to fix the issue that uh they caused that uh Microsoft calls, and even Microsoft said, yeah, there's a, there's a slight issue with this update. It may take up more hard drive space than we estimated. May? May? It may? There's no may about it, mother. Of course it does. And so, yeah. <laughs> so that, that got sorted. That did get sorted, so... And I updated my rogue, rogue, uh, rogue tech, uh, battle tech uh, mod pack. So I'll probably be doing some uh, some videos on that. So that will be fun. So yeah, I've got a couple, I've got some content to do. I've got the christening model kit to do for the modeling channel. Um, but before then, I will be doing. I will be going live on the modeling channel, which is Malavictus Inc. YouTube, not Deceptive Cobras. This channel, Deceptive Cobras, is about gaming. Malavik Inc. is about modeling them. The two separate things, the two separate channels, the two separate brands. Um, and like I said, I, I really do need to get back and do both. Uh, I will be going live 
here at about I would say 4 35 o'clock here UK time um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be playing yet uh, so just hang out come along and it will be fun also found a new um, boxing sparring partner because um, my old one he um, recently moved away from Reading so I'm having to f suss out and figure out my new boxing my new boxing part everyone keeps asking me you know how is it all of a sudden my neck like my traps and my upper arm is getting so upper body is getting so defined it's because I'm doing a lot of uh, contact boxing contact boxing is uh, yes you wear headgear you wear mouth guards hence you know you wear headgear you you wear mouth guards and um but yeah you you just let loose you know um i my the uh, the younger me would have definitely always gone for the kill i.e take his head off mike tyson style but as i've gotten older i can appreciate a more laid-back defensive style but there are times when I, a little switch in me gets flicked and all of a sudden it's got, you know, look, someone switched him from good to evil. And all of a sudden I become you know, a boxing Akuma, if you know what I mean. No fucking mercy. And um, <laughs> there are some good boxers at our gym. And uh, it's, an Irish, it's a little Irish social gym. Most of the boxers there... Um, a beanie boppers which we've got like fucking seven eight year olds all the way up to people in their me like me in our 40s and um we do a mentorship program as well and um there's a couple of kids there that uh, i mentor when i'm there um, but i do say to them once i leave this place uh, don't even acknowledge my existence just leave me alone and that's mostly to do with my agoraphobia um, if you don't know what that is, agoraphobia is the fear of the outside. I don't like going out much, and when I do, I am usually... Yep. Um, and that's just so I can go outside. I never used to be like that. I never used to be. I used to be quite a bubbly, outgoing person that would hate staying in. The thought of staying in bored me. I would always be out on my bike or, or I can go for a bit rollerblading when that was a thing here in England. You know, I would always be on the move, very active. Something changed in. It was the first lockdown and I got my COVID jab, my first jab. No, I'm not blaming the jab, so relax, NHS, okay? And slap on those stupid fucking blue warnings. I'm not saying don't get the jab or anything. What I'm saying to you is, is when I got the jab, it has now caused me heart murmur, which means when I start getting tight pains in my chest, I usually grab my smartwatch, which has a blood pressure monitor on it. The other things, which is why I need to, need a strap for it like that, because I need that watch. And it tracks it and monitors it. Or if my blood pressure gets to a certain point, my phone will automatically call 999. And I've had several times I've had to have ambulances come out and check on me and give me nitrate for my chest pain, which is all caused. And I, I am, and I'm a firm believer, a hundred percent, it was caused by the fucking COVID jab, hundred percent. Because I felt like shit five minutes after I had the first jab, which was from Moderna. I still have the paperwork for it. It was a Moderna jab, and I feel like shit. And no one, no one believes me. No one believes me. And what's worse is because the NHS was the ones that gave the jab, and all you've got is the NHS, all you can afford is the NHS, why would the NHS admit that they were at fault? Why would they say, hold their hands up and say, oh, yep, sorry, we fucked up? They wouldn't. They don't. No one does. No one willingly on this planet puts their hands up and says, well, my bad. It's like, no. 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 That's 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 not That's not how that works, mate. You know, and, and it's not 
I hate to say it, but it's not in. It upsets me. It it really does upset me. And um, because I'm not one of these people that just want a free handout all of my life. But I can't work the jobs I used to anymore because of my heart. I can't do, I can't be a bouncer anymore. I can't work securities. I can't do, all I can do is some work from home stuff, which nine times out of ten, most of it is a scam. Um, I can do some call center stuff. I got the set up for that. But, and I just recently told one of my, current employers that if they didn't respect my time because like I said I told them I was going away for the weekend and to not to not um to not bother me they agreed and while I was away I had about 15 freaking text messages and god knows what else from them asking me can I do an emergency shift and I was like I told you do not under any fucking circumstances message me but you in your infinite stupidity cannot seem to get it through your bloody head can you and so I stuck to my guns I, t I stuck up for myself I turned around and said to him I was like look listen fuck off alright fuck you See Charlie, go Charlie, fuck you, fuck his fucking face. It, 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 literally, I just, I went on this tangent, and I turned and said to him, consider this my two weeks. And, um, yesterday I got a message directly from my, my, my shift manager, apologising, saying, you know, there was a mix-up in the paperwork, they didn't mean to do that, da, da, da. and I'm like, I don't care. My inner peace is worth more than any money. And that's the truth. So don't be afraid to stick up for yourselves, guys. I mean that. Don't be afraid to stick up. Especially in your, your appointment. You think, well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, learn. Go to Allison. Allison.com. Learn some new skills. Work on that in your spare time. You know? You can do it on your phone. You can do it, you know? They call it doom scrolling is what you do on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all that stupid shit. That's called doom scrolling. Okay? That will drag you down. Down. So, what you should do, and I mean this, what you should do is go onto a website like Allison, uh, Headspace. There's a, whole, there's a whole bunch of them. Headspace you have to pay for. Allison you don't. Okay, go to Allison. Now, Alison will have ads in some of their videos and stuff like that. So you get, you know, it swings and, you know, it, it swings and roundabouts. Right? But, all you pay for when it comes to Alison is you pay to have your certificate shipped to you. Because they're based in the US. They do have uh, universities here in the UK and Europe. So your qualifications are recognized across the world. You get your bachelor's or your master's, something that is a valid bachelor's. That is a valid master's. You understand. You can do that while doing your shitty job. Time management. I do it. I have a reminder at midnight every night, Monday to Friday. Get on Allison. Get a module done. Get a module done. Get a module done. Get a module done. I'm currently going through to get my bachelor's and then my master's in, in IT, cybersecurity, and business management. I'm also in the process of figuring out my own production company. Yes, I plan on starting my own production company. And once I've started my own production company, 
better believe I'm planning on I'm planning on keeping I'm I'm planning on, on keeping my production company. Again, I plan on getting not necessarily passive jobs, but jobs that are going to pay for it's gonna pay for my um for my life, not my lifestyle, I don't consider it a style, but it's going to pay for my life while I'm working. So I can choose to take a night off. Okay, I can choose to take a night off. And if I do, I know I'm still making money in my sleep while I'm out. And no, I'm not talking about drop shipping or, or any of that, that stuff. I mean, that if that works for you. Great, go for it. If that works for you, start a small little drop shipping business. You know, do that whole for twenty dollars. We can get, get okay, Kermit. You do that. Oh, gee, I, 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 I turn into Jordan Peterson. Hi, go make your room in lobster. You know, again, no disrespect for you, for you, Jordan. You're you're an amazing person. But point I'm trying to make is. Get your hustle on, you know? Think outside the box. I mean, me, I... I'm working on a few little projects here and there. Uh, I'm working on... I'm pretty sure some of you may or may not know about a little device called a Ponagotchi. I have several of them, but mine are in a... Uh, uh, tailored network. So they do a, a swarm attack or a group attack on a Wi-Fi or a network or whatnot to simulate multiple hackers trying to get into your network. I use it as a work tool. I don't use it as a, a, as a horrible thing. If, if a company says to me, try and hack me, I'm like, okay, cool. I find out where they're located. They're located in the UK. I go to their, their business, see if I can enter the building. Thing that, that's called physical pen testing. Then you've got uh, 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 online pen testing, kind of like what I'm doing now, where I'm talking to you. And while you're watching this video, you don't know. I might have embedded a, 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 a Trojan pixel in the video, so while the video's played, it's automatically executed, and now I'm in your system. You didn't know that was a thing, did you? But it is. Be careful when you download pirated mode. Just be careful. Be very, very careful when pirating movies. That's all I need to say. That's all I need to say. <laughs> um, and I'm also doing some stuff with a non-profit group that catches predators here in the UK. Um, we, well, I specifically track down the metadata. Um, in the GPS locations, and I also um, bypass um, ad blockers. I'm not well, not ad blockers, but I bypass um, VPNs, things of that nature. Or uh, you, you you can bypass a VPN pretty freaking easy. I'm not even joking, guys. I really do mean this. You can bypass a VPN pretty quick, pretty easy if you know what you're doing and you know what you're looking for. Um, but anyone keeps asking me, especially when I was out on the weekend, why I have two phones. Uh, both these phones have SIM cards. Both these phones are valid. They are actual phones. And this one, mostly because I have do -do 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 -do, Retro Arch on this phone, although it looks like Retro Arch. Okay? Like Retro Arch. But it's not. It's actually an interface for Kali uh, Linux. And what I mean by that is it will let me interface with my Kali Linux laptop. I just recently put away, but I will, if I'm going away, I will leave it plugged in, screen up, and in sleep mode, which means any of my terminals, I can in terminal Terminex into my Kali Linux laptop. And I'm using its resources. 
as well as my phones. So now you know. Uh, I also carry a backup phone. Um, on the off chance that my primary phone gets captured, smashed, stolen, you name it. Um, there's tons of reasons why hackers have multiple phones. We're not drug dealers, okay? Don't get me wrong. Drug dealing may seem like it's, you know, how you get your paper, but it's not. That's how you go to prison. What I do isn't. What I do is gray, gray area. It's called gray area tech. Okay, there's no law saying you can't have more than one mobile phone. There's no law saying that you can't have a Ponagotchi or a Flipper Zero or anything like that. There's no law saying that you cannot physically own an electronic device. There's no law saying that you cannot modify your own devices. You can modify anything. You can overclock anything. If I want, I can overclock my monitor. I can overclock my keyboard. I can overclock my mouse. You, you can do whatever you want to whatever you want because it's what you physically own. Okay? Now, this is why I prefer to buy physical media. I like to buy discs. I like to buy, uh, uh, you know, I don't, it's very rare that I will buy something electronically. And that's because you don't legally own the game. You have chosen to rent the game. It's an open-ended rental program with the distributor. And at any time, that distributor can say, and cut you off and keep your money past and they they do it usually past 30 or 60 days why because that's when most uh, uh credit cards or banks have a money back guarantee cut off date so they know if they do it after seven days you can go to your bank and your banking and get the money back from them yeah and a developer is not going to go up against the bank because they know the bank's got the money to fight them in court the developer doesn't but what the developer will do is wait 30 or 60 or 90 days and at any point go cut you off. And there's legally nothing you can do about that. But if you physically own the media, the CD, that's a different story. Okay? It's a completely different story. Oh, you're right, my friend. Game is game. So, I've got a stream today, and I'll talk more about the, the stag do and stuff in the live stream, so if you want to stick around for that, that'll be fun. It'll be here on YouTube, uh, or Rumble. Here, um, I might do a stream to here and Rumble, I'm not sure yet. I do have a Rumble channel. Uh, we are still currently banned on Twitch, uh, and it looks like the ban is permanent. And I do have a secondary account, but I don't want to go live on it. Um, because I don't want them to think I'm circumventing my ban. Um, fact of the matter is, you know, honestly, Twitch was a dead end for me. I would only max out about 8 to 10 viewers. I max out at about 30 plus uh, on YouTube. I actually max out on more viewers on YouTube. Um, not YouTube gaming, just YouTube in general. I max out more on YouTube than I do um, anywhere else. So, yeah. So there's that. And so, yeah, um, oof, it's just, there's a lot going on right now. A lot of gears are wiggling and moving, doing their thing. So once this is done, this video is edited and uploaded. Uh, I will see you guys at 5 p.m. EK time. Computer, set an alarm. 5 p.m. There you go. So at 5 p.m. My Alexa, will, my, my, my Alexa will go off and I will be live. Until then, guys, just fine. Keep your enemies dying. Coffee's done. Therefore, I'm done. <laughs>